Hi there, signs of Scorpio. This is Kim here to do an next 48 hour reading for you. I hope you're doing really good. Just trying to see which deck I'm going to use first. Mm. Kind of a Kundalini rising and awakening desire, something blossoming, forming, beginning. It can represent the energy of the Kundalini movement of that energy. So up and down like the spine area <clears throat> but it's about what you're creating here and and there you go there's the new cycle <clears throat> new chapter new cycle it is the oroboro the great serpent <laughs> three so far oh and you're magnetic at this time wow so this makes me feel like you something is passionately fueling you whatever made you really strong <laughs> I mean, you, you probably know what you've been through that's made you like really strong. That <clears throat> combined with the new chapter, um, it's rewarding that type of uh, elevation to a different like level of experience now, something different. It is actually order that is derived from a state of chaos what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And it already did. The iron is strength. The chaos might be something you've gone through. I always look at that and see three people standing there. So, I don't know. There's a spider web. Mm, it's hard to tell up from down in that picture. It's So, I can understand why. It's, so, it's called chaos, though. It makes sense, right? <laughs> Uh, I have the yellowing, which means that something is almost completely healed in a sense. So there, there's something that is almost completely healed within you that maybe simultaneously what you've been desiring, like it's all coming in as something that is pretty much healed, but it's going possibly out. It's transmuting that energy. That is what you've done. You've changed that energy beautiful yeah okay so this is a memory the ash card it is a memory still and so maybe the memory is that last little piece that maybe the mem what was that um metallica song the memory but the memory remains that might be the part that makes us feel like if we remember something that we're still holding on to some kind of hurt that needs healed but it doesn't have to mean that at all it can just be um a memory of of what got you to that uh iron state what has made you so magnetic now what have you gone through that's made you stronger <clears throat> essentially uh let's let's pull from animal spirit let's see what they have to say and then you have summer that's coming out here. Really nice. I think it goes along with that great serpent, the summer card. Whatever it is, it's it's health, it's vitality, it's something growing. Wow. Well, there you are. You showed up in your reading, Scorpion. So that's good for um, confidence. You could sting, truly. You could really hurt somebody if... <laughs> The scorpion here, like you could hurt somebody if that was your aim or if that was your intention. Um, then I have crocodile, which is, uh, it's if it's telling you to do this, then it's like, hang on a second, lay low, wait. I would say and definitely defend yourself with the scorpion card coming out. Because, and the crocodile, like, that's, that crocodile energy is like all muscle crocodiles. Mm. And then I have snake, and it is the Ouroboro, the same as your great serpent. So, you have that twice. So, this is talking about the chapter that is here. In, within some kind of chaos, it's saying that there is a... Um, a hidden gift or ability that is just kind of like like the flower of life there it's like encoded in your um your dna your structure your everything and um 
it is an innate ability. It may be passed on from family members with the wolf. Uh, whatever it is, it helps you with the bee energy, which is to be dedicated and hardworking, getting the goal that you want, achieving the goal that you want. And you're being, you're at a crossroads here where something is ending and then something is about to bloom and take off. You're at a crossroads for that. Wow. You got almost every desert thing. You got like all the reptiles. You got cobra, tarantula, scorpion, crocodile, and then the snake. Um, oh, there. If it's right in front of your face. Okay. I'm going to look up the cobra. Oh, that could be that that's that chapter or there or there was some kind of some kind of gift or ability that you kind of like unlocked right earnest hardworking is the B. Hmm. Oh, I'm trying Okay, the cobra up there. So is pausing or waiting and it's your inner teacher. It And it has to do with the being strong, like the iron um, card underneath it. It's connecting the be still and lay low with the, but have your defense up. So if it's out of balance, it can be like a know-it-all energy. <laughs> But when in balance, they are always the student of life. So the tarantula here is coming to a crossroads, and it usually involves um, life purpose. So I think that's what's talking about with this next chapter. That it seems like it's more colorful than this one, and it's because of one expiring and then going into a new one. That's why. So let's get the uh, siren song. Let's see any other messages for Scorpio. There's your crossroads. You're at a crossroads with something that is healed, almost healed, just a memory now. And crossroads, 22. Access to plenty of uh, wealth and resources. So I have house and good outcome. Good outcome and house. And that is like the lover's type energy as far as like there's a decision, but all of it's going to lead to a good outcome. You're really um, building and your foundation is really nice and strong. I have the deep thoughts, number 16, deep thoughts. So you're in somebody's thoughts a whole, whole lot. Whoa. Wealthy man at the crossroads, and then a message. Marriage in the reverse could be the change at the crossroad being one thing ending, one thing starting. You could be putting, getting ready to put a lot of attention into your work. There could be somebody even like a benefactor, somebody that supports your work or what you do, likes what you do. Um, yeah, wanting to help you move out of a point of lack or despair. Mm -hmm. So new, 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 sudden wealth. Maybe something that you do is going to bring that. That's good. Oh, I have the camel. So if you persevere, make sure you're getting enough water. If you do that to the top of your hand and it sticks for more than three seconds, you need to drink some water. Your skin um, isn't supposed to stick together like that unless you're dehydrated. So 
just a tip. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys. Scorpio, if you felt like this resonated and you want a private reading, which is, of course, longer and it's tailored to you, then um, just click on the website in the description box below and you can get one. So I'm sending you light and love. Until next time, bye-bye.